happy holidays. One of my favorite traditions this time of the year is always the response by the left to the right's claims that there is a war on Christmas going on. It's really an honored, beloved tradition, but something changed this year. The right hasn't really claimed that there's a war on Christmas. Have there been some instances of individual Republicans saying, we say happy holidays in this household? Yes. Has there been a couple of Newsmax segments where they claim that there maybe is a war on Christmas or Santa Claus is going woke? Sure. But there wasn't enough for me to actually make videos about it in a way that I want to and be artistic and, and meme about them like I usually do every single year. And I think that things are changing in the sense that now, because they're not talking about the war on Christmas, I unironically believe that there is a war on Christmas since they've destroyed this beloved annual tradition. So they're the ones who are now destroying Christmas, and we're the ones who are on the defensive. They're on the offensive. So, um, yeah, when it came to what am I going to do for my annual war on Christmas video... I didn't know what to do. So I decided to do what every good YouTuber does. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. So last year, I did what I think was my favorite War on Christmas video. It was purely fictional and satirical, but based on real world events. And it seems like the stars collided and every insane thing that happened in the world built this really epic narrative that allowed me to tell the satirical story about how the War on Christmas ended. And since last year, I was kind of in the toilet with YouTube and algorithmically speaking, they hated my guts. Since many people didn't even see that, I thought, why not re-air that? Just throw a rerun up. I mean, we all like watching reruns on Christmas, right? And allow you all to see how the war on Christmas ended based on events that happened last year that I'm sure many of you will remember. So I'm sorry I don't have anything better. This is the best that I've got this year. But regardless, this is my favorite war on Christmas segment that I've done. I'm really proud of it. So this is how the war on Christmas ended. Conservatives once thought that they won the war on Christmas. We're saying Merry Christmas again. People are actually saying Merry Christmas. You can say Merry Christmas again. Yes, Isn't that yes. so nice, Janine? I love it. If only they knew what the future had in store. It started in 2021 when President Joe Biden signed an executive order immediately after taking office, banning the celebration of Christmas entirely. Patriots at Fox News and Newsmax condemned his executive order and saw it for what it was, an attack on Christianity. That means no Christmas Eve in church. That means no Christmas morning under the tree with your family tearing through stockings. It means no Christmas at all. And for a while, things didn't look too good. Conservatives had to come up with covert methods of celebrating Christmas, using code words to say Merry Christmas. Nutcrackers joined the LGBTQ wing of the Antifa military. The Grinch left Whoville and became an Instagram thought. Although I must say, he did look pretty good. And Kris Kringle? He left the North Pole and Mrs. Claus, and he became a full-blown homosexual. No, 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 no. Mrs. Claus eventually remarried, and her new husband basically became the new de facto Santa Claus, but he was black. And even though Christmas was canceled at this point, intellectuals debated about whether or not this hurt the chances of Christmas ever returning one day with the future Trump presidency. I just don't know why it's necessary. I don't understand why, you f why people feel they need a black Santa Claus. Yeah. But when it seemed like all hope was lost, then came the resistance. A patriotic duo teamed up to record the first Christmas song since the ban on Christmas, and it shot to the top of the charts on iTunes, even beating out Adele. Little did they know, that one song catalyzed an entire movement. In a showing of courageous disobedience, Fox News put up the biggest, most prettiest tree anyone ever saw. More patriots started to put up Christmas trees themselves. It felt like we were getting the country back. It felt like Christmas again until disaster hit. It's beginning to look a lot like arson. 
Right now there is somebody who is in custody and is being interviewed by local police. Who sets a Christmas tree on fire? That big, beautiful Fox News Christmas tree, an icon for the movement, was burned to the ground. Some even compared it to Pearl Harbor. This wasn't just about that tree. This was about us. It was an attack on Christianity. Torching Christmas trees is an attack on Christianity, obviously. So-called allies in the fight to bring back Christmas were too afraid to condemn the attack on Christians. The mayor of New York City right. held a press conference yesterday and did not mention the burning of the Fox of Christmas tree. Didn't even mention it. But this attack, meant to crush the spirits of pro-Christmas patriots, only fired them up more. No one can burn down the spirit of Christmas or destroy our resilience. A new tree is on the way. It will be brighter and more beautiful than ever. Patriots began again, putting up trees, but this time, they were armed and ready to protect those trees from these terrorists. And after police departments were defunded, cops didn't have the resources or the desire to enforce these bans on Christmas, which is when the Biden administration deployed a new, familiar strategy, psychological warfare. The White House sent out their secret weapon, Dr. Anthony Fauci, and what did he do? Well, he tried to scare people into not wanting to celebrate but the Patriots saw right through it. Dr. Anthony Fauci is already trying to cancel Christmas. Appearing on Face the Nation, he let his inner Scrooge out. But we can gather for Christmas or it's just too soon to tell? You know, Margaret, we, it's just too soon to tell. And at that point, through sheer force of will, Patriots brought Christmas back. Governors across the country started signing laws, redeclaring Christmas a national holiday, setting off a lengthy legal battle that lasted years and made it all the way to the Supreme Court. Then, we won. In a 6-3 majority decision, the Supreme Court ruled that celebrators of Christmas were a protected minority, and in that same ruling, they made the celebration of Christmas mandatory for everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love that you say that. We're going to be saying Merry Christmas at every store. Democrats across the country were outraged, but I'm sure you expected that. Even the White House was forced to celebrate Christmas again, but of course, they did the bare minimum to comply with the law, putting up the ugliest Christmas tree and Christmas decorations they could cobble together. But, you know, we didn't really care. I love Christmas decorations, but this looks a little like a carnival cruise. <laughs> then, in 2024, when Donald Trump won back the White House, lucky for us, he also held a narrow majority in the U.S. Senate where Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema led the charge in drafting a constitutional amendment, mandating the celebration of Christmas every single year going forward. And at that point, it was clear the war on Christmas was over. And if you're wondering how I know about all of this, well, because I've seen it. That's right, it's me. Mike from the future. And I know you've probably got a lot of questions about what happened in the future, what happened after Donald Trump became president for a second time in 2024, and I can't tell you anything because I don't want to risk ripping a hole in the space-time continuum. This technology to go back in time was just invented, and I'm not going to play any stupid games, but what I will leave you with is this. Since it is the month of December, I am legally obligated to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas from my wife, Lily, and I. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you during this holy time. Again, Merry Christmas. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralist, woke moralist, woke moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.